Hey y'all, so as you've seen from the title, I am gonna show you how to take down a three month old protective style in your toddler's hair, how to do it safely. Look how much growth that she has. Y'all see that? Her hair has been in these braids for three months. You can see that her scalp is very clean. I made sure I was cleaning her hair, washing her hair, making sure her scalp was clean, even though she's had these same beads in for three months now. If you want to see, how I got this style and uh, when I trimmed her hair, what, what length her hair was before I put this style in. There is a video on it uh, on my channel. Um, it will be in the description box. Also this video and all the other videos that I do uh, for her hair care are on a playlist. So you can watch her hair care playlist if you wanna see her hair from birth to see how it's been coming along. But as you can see here, there is at least I'm going to say that's like an inch or two inches of new growth. And that happened in just three months with proper care. Uh, so let me show you what you'll need in order to take the hair down. You're going to need that white tooth comb there. You're going to need the leave-in conditioner, or this is what I use. This is what works best. A rat tail comb right here. This is an edge brush, but it has that rat tail at the bottom. So whatever you use that's going to help that rat tail is a lifesaver there's the double butter cream and um jamaican black castor oil then i got that because that's where i put all her little beads and whatnot but yeah this is how she's been wearing her hair for the last three months you can see here and i'm going to take it down these are the same beads i didn't reinstall the beads or anything so as you can see like some of the beads have fallen out but for the most part, they stayed in because I wrapped them really tightly. Uh, so I'm just trying to show the new growth here so I can get a good picture of it. And I did wash it while it was in this style because I wanted to see if that would help minimize buildup. And you'll see if it did or not as I'm taking her hair down because I'm going to take down the hair on camera. But yeah, look at that. Okay, so yeah, this is this is what's going on. But that LCO method is what I've been using. Those three products that I showed y'all in the beginning, which I'm going to show you again because I'm going to put them on her hair in a second. Those three products or very similar products have what are what I've been using in order to maintain the moisture in her hair. So I'm always using a liquid, like a water-based leave-in conditioner, and then a cream-based leave-in conditioner, and then an oil. But first I'm gonna spray it with water and I'll, you're gonna see the process. I'm gonna show you the process when I'm doing her hair. But yeah, this is how it was looking. Y'all, it was a little bit tough, me leaving these braids in her hair for three months because I want to, you know, I need her hair done. She goes out often, especially on the weekends. And so if you're watching this vlog, make sure, or if you're watching this tutorial on how to safely take down a protective style in your toddler's hair, definitely go check out Royalty, her other little lifestyle vlogs that we put up where she's living her best life. But yeah, let's get into this takedown here. And as you'll see, I am being very gentle being very gentle i sped this up just a tad bit but i'm being gentle i broke the rubber band and then i unwound it and took it off i'm not just pulling them off or pulling them down and just ripping them off i definitely broke it and that's the easiest way for me to do it and you'll see as i'm taking her hair as as i took that off you'll see that her hair is pretty dry because i did wash it in preparation uh, for this video as well so I'm going to do it again, take another one down. The rubber band is quite tight, so I'm going to go ahead and break it in order to get it off. Yep. Just go ahead on and break it, sis. We're not reusing these rubber bands. I got these from the hair store for like 99 cents for like a thousand of them. We'd be all right. Go ahead and break it and then just let the bees fall off. And these are like medium sized bees, like regular sized bees. These are not small bees because I want to steer away from when it comes to her hair. I want to steer away from putting very small braids in her hair because it's going to be more time consuming to take them out because you're going to have to be more gentle. And I, yeah, it's just for me, I feel like it would cause it, it would be 
easy for me to cause damage if I put very small braids in her hair. So I try to do medium to large braids. Since she was wearing this style for three months, we went ahead with the medium braids, but y'all can see how dry or stiff her hair looks since I washed it and it hasn't really been conditioned. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet it up. I'm gonna show you how I maintain her hair while it's in a protective style. This is, she likes to help. I'm gonna go ahead on and let her help. <laughs> she was not about to let me do it. She was like, let me do it, let me do it. So she, she knows the drill. She already knows the drill. So this is not a game. I am not making this up for YouTube, honey. This is what we do. We do this, we does this, okay? She gonna spray her hair first put a little water in it little mama's is two years old and she knows how to take care of her natural hair okay so put a little water in it get it wet up yeah i've definitely saturated her hair with water making sure you'll see that i'm making sure that i get her ends because her ends have been covered up in those braids and you know the ends of the hair are the weakest point of the hair because it's the oldest part of the hair so it makes sense right so we want to be extra gentle with that area of the hair. But yeah, I'm making sure I get her hair saturated. And yes, she's sitting nice and still. I know I get a lot of comments like, oh, she sat there. Yes, she sat there because she's been getting her hair done and taken care of since birth. So yeah, it's not. <laughs> it takes time. It takes effort and they'll get used to it. And especially if you're taking care of their hair, I feel like if you're moisturizing their hair, it's not going to hurt them as much. If you're moisturizing the way that I'm doing it, wetting her hair, you know, wetting their hair up, not just combing their hair while it's dry. Because, of course, that's going to hurt. So definitely wet the hair up very well. Yeah. Y'all, this voiceover, I don't be knowing what to say after a while. I be like, now what do I say during this part? Anyways, now we're moving on to the liquid leave-in. Um, when I say liquid leave-in, I'm what I mean is a water-based leave-in, okay? So this is a water-based leave-in. You put that on first. Okay? So that's where the LCO method comes. This is this is the LCO method, a liquid leave-in or a liquid. Sometimes people don't skip this part and they just use water or water that has oils in it. Definitely, because a lot of times I'll put a little bit of conditioner, just regular conditioner inside of the water, regular hair conditioner. I'll put it in the water. But this time I'm using the, um, the other conditioner. And then this right here is the cream conditioner, the cream butter conditioner. This is the As I Am. Is that? Is it? Or, yeah, As I Am. That's the brand. And it's very cheap, y'all. Like, I think that 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 um, cream butter is only about $16 for that container. And this full of butter y'all like that stuff is so good it's a double butter cream it's got like cocoa butter in it shea butter castor oil jojoba oil it, it's got everything that you need so that's definitely a good product and then i'm gonna go ahead on and seal it with that black jamaican black castor oil because that's the o in the lco method okay so you know and y'all know the benefits of the jamaican black castor oil that's definitely something good to seal the hair with especially if you have thick hair her hair isn't really coarse i know sometimes i label the videos 4c hair and i do that because she does have some texture to her hair but i i wouldn't really y'all tell me i don't know what type of hair texture she has put it put it in the comments somebody enlighten me i i put 4c but i don't i in my heart i don't believe that she has 4c hair i really don't but yeah, this is this is what we got going right now. Her hair is all moisturized, ready to be taken down. Y'all see them ends then curled up. It's definitely about to be easy for me to take this hair down now that her ends have curled up, okay? Yes, yeah, so I'm about to tie her hair up and go ahead and show y'all how I take down her, the takedown method. So this is where this rat tail comb comes into play. This is essential. This is like the main, besides the LCO method that I just did, like these two right here are the lifesavers. You, you, 
this is going to save you a lot of damage. It's going to save you a lot of time. Y'all see how easy? See how easy it came down? Now, if I tried to take this down when it was all dry and stiff, it would have been a problem. I would have been ripping her hair out, all kinds of stuff. But y'all see how easily, easily it's coming down because it's moisturized, because she's watching Coco Melon, and because I have this rat tail comb. Okay. <laughs> That's all you need for a two-year-old. This is the package right here. It's very easily. Also, what I do, I don't know. So, okay, I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't say this. But another key factor in taking down the hair safe, um, safely to avoid and minimize damage is to make sure that when, when you're braiding it, that you are braiding it neatly very neatly make sure you section it out in equal parts so that way you don't have to combine hair maybe at the end you may need to combine the hair you know if you're a braider if you're a braider you you know what i'm talking about make sure that you braid the hair neatly when you begin braiding it separate it into equal parts so that way when you take it down you're not getting tangles or anything like that is as easy as how I just took her hair down y'all see how easy that was that's because I took my time when I braided it I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out you can see right there that is all the buildup that she has and it's not a lot it's not a lot this is how much growth she has I don't know what that is how much y'all think that is how much growth do you think um, I'm gonna go with about two inches. I'm gonna have to say two inches, and and I might it might just be an inch. I might be tripping. It's only been in her braid. Her hair's only been in braids for three months. Your hair grows what a half inch a month, so that might be about. It looks about two inches. Also, let me tell y'all. Not only do I put the LCO method in her hair while it's been in this protective style, I also make sure that she eats a healthy diet. I really try to focus on making sure she eats a healthy diet and she also takes vitamins. So that's also a key factor in her hair growth and she drinks water. So even if it's sparkling water, baby girl drinks water. It is not a problem. She is out here drinking bottles of water. She is not one of them kids that be like, I'm not, I'm only drinking juice. So that is also a key factor in hair growth. And then that's all I'm doing. I'm just braiding it, I'm twisting it up, two, two strand twisting it. And I put two strand twists. Why is that a tongue twister for me? I did the two strand twist throughout her entire hair in the same sections as it was when it was braided. And this is how it turned out. So I'm just going to let it breathe before I put it back in a protective style. She has a dance recital coming up. So I was like, let me, this is the perfect time to take it down. This is all the hair that fell out. She wanted to see it. She's fascinated. She was like, what is this? So that's the hair that fell out. I'm going to say that's a normal amount for someone's hair that hasn't been touched in three months. I don't think it's bad. I, it looks good to me. So it looks normal to me. Y'all let me know. Y'all ever kept y'all braids in for about three months? She's so silly. But yeah, y'all, this is the gist of it. Just take your time. Um, as y'all can see, the lighting is different. It is now dark time because I did take my time to take these down and make sure I handle her hair gently. So yeah, it, it, it did take me a few hours to get this done. But it was a labor of love because I'm excited to see her hair grow. And grow out long but yeah y'all this is the end she's saying bye i'm saying bye y'all thanks for watching it's been real until next time y'all be easy peace